Welcome to another edition of the SSC TV3 News. We are more than news. We also televise programs, events, and archives that are the lifeblood of our community. Today is Friday, August 10th. I'm Jim Lakey, your host, and these are the features that will be on our show today. First, New Digger Farewell Celebration. Second, Hudson Chicken Ride. <clears throat> we televise this program live at 11 a.m. each Friday this summer. It is also recorded and uploaded to YouTube right after the show. If you cannot watch us live, you can still watch the show and the features at your convenience at ssctv3.org. If you have news, public service announcements, or programs that you would like covered, come by the studio at 110 East 3rd Street or send us an email at ssctv3 at gmail.com. We can accommodate those wishing to appear live on our show, those wishing to make a pre-recorded studio video, or those wishing to have video coverage on a location. At this time, we present some of the sponsors that make this program possible. Well, we begin now with our weather for this week, starting with Saturday. So Saturday, we believe, will be 90 in height and 64 in uh, the low temperature. Then partly cloudy on uh, Sunday, 88 the high and 66 the low. Then on Monday, we have a thunderstorm Actually, on Monday and Tuesday both, we're supposed to have a thunderstorm. Uh, 20, 82 the high on Monday, 64 the low, 88 the high on Wednesday, uh, I'm sorry, on Tuesday, 84 the high and 64 the low. Then on Wednesday, sunny, 88 and 66 the low temperature, Thursday, Thunderstorm again, 89 the high, 66 the low again. And on Friday, sunny once more, 90 the high and 66 the low. And of course, we don't guarantee that by the end of the week, our forecast will be incredibly accurate. Anyway, now we have a really important thing, our lunches at the fellowship meal at the Sunflowers. <coughs> And uh, so on Monday, uh, they're having paprika chicken and macaroni and cheese. On Tuesday, herb, pork loin, and au gratin potatoes. On Wednesday, baked chicken and sweet potatoes. On Thursday, chicken fried steak and mashed potatoes. And on Friday, turkey cheddar casserole. There is a fine line between fond, fair, fond farewells and sad farewells. Last Saturday, the Stafford County Annex witnessed a little bit of both. Farewell receptions are most generally predictable. The one given for Glenn Newdigger Saturday included the traditional guest book, 
refreshments, pleasant conversation, and short speeches. But the last one of the four presentations was quite unique. I would like to thank everybody for coming out today for Glenn's farewell celebration. Um, if you guys want to sign his book back there, if you haven't, make sure you do. Um, and I have a few words that I want to say on behalf of the Stafford County Extension Board. I had to write it down because I'm not very good with remembering things. <laughs> Um, I just want to say a few words to express the board's appreciation for the time that Glenn has spent with us. Glenn has been an extension agent for 30 years and 17 of those years have been with us. Glenn has been um, doing an outstanding job in all the years that he's been here. He is moving on to work at People's Bank in Pratt and he will leave some pretty big shoes to fill. While he has put in place some amazing programs that will stay after he leaves, it will be a challenge to fill that hole. We want to wish you all the best in your future endeavors, and there is no doubt that you'll make success with the future opportunities as you have here. This gift on the table from us is just a small expression of our appreciation for your work and time here. So we wish you farewell and good luck. Thank you, Glenn. It's been a great day. I say great day. Uh, see a lot of old friends, um, a lot of old friends from Barber County, a lot of our friends here from Stafford. My first secretary, Joyce Smith from Barber County, is here with us today. Um, glad to have her. So like I said, I am going to miss all of you. I uh, really enjoyed working with Amy over the years. We were quite a fine getting a man in our office. Kind of just fell into that deal. I hope not in her lap. I said that one other time. You got it right this time. I got it right there. <laughs> one achievement bank I said she fell in her lap and then we thought very good. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but it is, we have been very fortunate to here to work with the people out of uh, Stafford County. Great board, uh, great people. I don't know, a lot of agents have the opportunity to work in two great counties, and I've had that. I feel very fortunate. Um, a lot of leaders here today from both counties. Um, we do appreciate all that Amy and Amanda have done here uh, to put this together on the Extension Board. I uh, really do appreciate all of you, and it is a great experience. Which, uh, a lot of questions about moving or not moving will still be here in the Stafford County 4-H program. Carrie still will be teaching uh, Maxville. Um, so, like I said, we'll still be around, still be at the fair, just in a different role. Um, maybe not yelling that so much, except by my kids. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it is a great, great to see a lot of uh, family. I appreciate my brother and his family coming out today, uh, and friends from even back home where I grew up. Uh, glad to have all them here too. Uh, it is a great, been a great experience. Uh, we're not leaving all of you, so we'll still see you around. The kids will still be in 4-H, like I said. And so we're just changing roles. So like I say, it's a great opportunity you've been here, and I'm glad that the board has given us the opportunity. So thank you. I just wanted to thank everyone for being here today. I've enjoyed working with Glenn uh, for the past 14 years. It, that seems like quite a long time, actually. Um, he's been a great co-worker, mentor, and friend, and it's been a joy to work with him. He's full of wisdom and knowledge as far as extension goes, so we're, we hate to lose that, but um, I think we can just call him up when we need him, right? You won't be far away, right? <laughs> okay, well, I'm not gonna get into it anymore because like Lynn, I don't wanna I don't want to get weepy or anything, but thank you for your years of service. We appreciate it, and we know we'll see you around. Um, for those of you, please know there's lots of cake up here. Um, there's the book on the front table, and Carrie has put some older pictures over here that you might want to look at as well. So um, with that, thanks again, and we do appreciate you coming to join us this afternoon.
before I was married, when I go back to mom and dad, I leave on Friday night from Medicine Lodge, and then I get up about four in the morning and then drive back to work. And normally I just stop by the house long enough to throw my stuff in the house and go to work. Well, one morning, I did that on Monday morning, threw my stuff in the house, went to work. I kept getting calls all day. Well, how was your weekend? Well, nobody ever called normally to ask things like that. Well, when I got home that night, I started going through the house and thought, man, that was something out on the counter. It smelled like something different in the house. And I started finding ladies' undergarments scattered around. And I get to my bedroom. Here is a body in the bed, all covered up, face down in the pillow. I thought, and all weekend, I thought I'd left the house open anyway. So I thought somebody came in and died. <laughs> so I had my pistol set here. I picked them up, run across the lady I ran the house from, walk in with my pistol, and she's like, um, is there a problem? <laughs> so she called the police. So here they come, silent running. And in fact, one of their, uh, his wife is here tonight with us. <laughs> the deputy, he comes out and goes, I don't have enough hair left for this. <laughs> That's a mannequin. And they thought somebody, when they first looked at it, I thought somebody had died in the bed too. So the mannequin has been around a long time. Even before it showed up here, one at the fair here. You guys remember the mannequin? So yeah, it's uh, several times the mannequin kept repeating, showing up in weird places. So. When they told him, when he said he had a girlfriend, they were excited I was alive. <laughs> But when you go home and you find something face down in your bed and it looks like it's dead, it kind of gets your attention. <laughs> so, well, you, you, have, and, you have quite the experience yeah. with the police and the highway patrolman, don't you? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah I, one, I haven't been working very long and took one of our four inch leaders, and she's here today. Um, and we ended up going to a horse uh, district horse show meeting. On the way back, I ended up getting a speeding ticket. I keep saying, the faster she talks, the faster I drove. You're doing about 200. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, the truck would go that fast. But yeah, they had a lot of good experiences. Uh, but like I say, uh, the, that with the police was pretty exciting that night. But I couldn't figure out why, so the next day, people started calling me. I said, well, it was pretty exciting. Somebody broke into my house and stole my VCR, my way. It got them a little nervous too because they knew there were fingerprints all over. <laughs> but the bad thing was the sheriff and the chief of police lived just down the street about a block from me. They all drove by and waved at us as they're breaking in. Next, we have a short video featuring some of the sponsors that make our program possible. Please check our bulletin board for future and further information. Also, let them know that you watch the show and that you appreciate their sponsorship. If you would like to be a regular sponsor of the SSC TV3 News, stop by, give us a call or contact us at ssctv3 at gmail.com. Well, we have several birthdays and anniversaries for this coming week, uh, for the week of August the 12th. Sunday, happy anniversary to Joe and Christy Snyder. 
Monday, happy birthday to Deborah Pound. Wednesday, happy birthday to Marlene Waddle. And on Friday, happy birthday to Lara Davis. And happy anniversary to Jim and Elaine Green. <clears throat> we have a, a good many uh, public service announcements. And we start off with the two from the Recreation Commission. On uh, Thursday, 8.16, the lunch bunch at 10.30 is going to Lumpy's in Great Bend and also to have shopping choices after. On Saturday, 8.27, the Boot Hill Casino or shopping is the destination. And they go to Dodge. They leave at 8 and they come back at 3. And you can choose either to go shopping or to go to the casino. So be sure to check in early because there are only, I think, about 12 people that can go on the bus before it's full. <clears throat> then the last remaining hours for the swimming pool will be on Sunday, August 19th. After that, it will be open only on weekends. The last day the pool will be open is Labor Day. Now there is a school supply drive at City Hall. Drop off any school supplies that you wish to donate to the school and the city will make sure that these supplies get to the right people and the right places. <clears throat> the Recreation Committee, uh, the Recreation Center has the fall sports registration forms ready. So stop by the center or call 549-3594. <clears throat> then uh, the cruise, the, sh the square car show and the craft beer tasting festival will be here soon, Saturday, August 25th. If you or your business would like to sponsor any of the events, please contact City Hall. <clears throat> On Saturday, August 25th at 10.15 a.m. during the car show, when nothing is scheduled, SSC TV3 is hosting a special event. The TV3 would like to get a picture and video of the Friends of the Corner Store on location, where the Corner Store used to stand on the west of First and on West First Street. It was part of our community for many, many years. And this picture and video will be used to end a special feature about life on the Corner Store. If you have pictures of it from the past, please bring them to the Shepherd Center so we can capture them. Also, if anyone can provide the exact years for the owners, Nidra Sizemore, Frank Gear, and the Risleys, and Charlie Walker, Herb Butler, or Slim Twiddle, please send that information to ssctv3 at gmail.com. The PTO Parent Teacher Organization is seeking a new members. Volunteers are always needed to help with fundraising and school programs. Kristen Knight is the president and the meetings are held in the library on the second Monday of every month at 5.30 p.m. If you're interested in being part of the PTO, contact Kristen at the elementary office or just show up at a regular meeting. The following video is about beefy bikers, sack, sassy cyclists, and powerful peddlers. We have all heard that pigs have wings and cows jump over the moon. But did you know that in south central Kansas there is a small town in which people come from far and wide to ride chickens? I am here in Hudson, Kansas at the 13th annual chicken ride. 
Shannon Bauer is going to give us the backstory. All right, the chicken ride all began with a bunch of friends riding bikes together. And we're riding on these country roads and we all got talking. We ought to put on our own bike ride. So there was Peggy Bauer, Gloria, and John Seifkees and I. And about that time, there was a round hay bale. So we called it, um, we decided to have a call a ride, the hay ride. So the first year, a bunch of farmers painted up their hay bales with happy faces and all kinds of crazy things. But then at the end of the ride, we always have a chicken feed. And someone suggested, you ought to call it the chicken ride. So now it's the chicken ride. We've and, had a lot of fun with that chicken. Yes, and how many riders have been in the maximum number of this? Probably our maximum number was 130. 130, so, that's a pretty good number. Yeah, and this year, how many did we have? We had just 103 this year. We had some, a few back out because weather, but still pretty happy with those numbers. Now, there have been some unusual happenings, I'm certain, over the years, so can you give us one of those? Well, when you're biking, all kinds of crazy things happen, but one good strong rider was coming out here from Hutchison and lost his bike off the back of his pickup and um, came in. He was so upset. Well, Peggy Bauer that puts on this ride with me, she loaned him her bike, so he had a bike to ride. And then last year, a guy um, just right outside of town hit a deer and totaled his pickup and messed up his bike. So he didn't get to ride last year, but he came back this year and rode the whole thing and so glad he came back to see us. I heard there was an accident today. Can you clue us in on that one? Yeah, um, going out on the ride, we had a headwind. So, you know, people always draft, get behind each other to block the wind. And one uh, guy got too close to someone else and uh, it threw him off his bike into the ditch. and. He banged his shoulder up pretty bad, so had to take him to the doctor. But otherwise, today is a smooth ride. Safe and sound. Now, who made the chicken? The fried chicken? Oh, this chicken? Yes. John chi Makings from Great Bend, Kansas. He is one of our bicyclists that come and rides with us. Well, this year he's on call, so he couldn't be here. But he is a creator. He loves to make things. I think he's probably an artist. But anyway, he made this out of blow insulation. Just fantastic. He must have shaped it with wire underneath. I'm not sure. But and then he made his the necklace out of chain and all kinds of fun gears. And I noticed a number of people were taking pictures by it for souvenirs so they could take home and verify that they had seen the chicken. That's right. He makes the chicken ride. Now then, in closing here, what's the future? Will this keep going? As of right now, yes. Uh, Peggy and John and um, Gloria have decided to not be a part of planning it, but maybe just riding it. So I am hunting now for some helpers to help me keep this a going. I love putting on this ride, and I want to continue being part of it. Sounds like fun. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Before dawn, this year's 103 bike riders started registering at the Hudson Community Hall in preparation for the annual Hudson Chicken Ride. A quick bite to eat, a thorough check of the equipment, a careful look at the map, and finally rolling into line for the last minute instructions before the official start. Okay, we're gonna leave in about four minutes, right at seven. A couple announcements, okay, Did everybody right, get a right. map? Because on the back side of the map are the phone numbers that if you break down, we'll come and pick you up or we have a mechanic. Oh, okay. <laughs> Inexperience. <laughs> it's never worked till now. Okay, uh, there's water by the door in the community center, so when you leave to go home, grab a water. There's plenty of water. Um, there's also look for prizes at the end. I hope everybody got a bag of flour. And, okay, well, you can get it at the end. Okay, and let's see, what else? Um, well, we hope you stop at all the stops and because we've got food. And what else? Welcome to Hudson. Uh, we're all glad you're here. We hope the weather holds out for you.
So we'll just wait patiently and I'll yell when it's seven o'clock. <laughs> John says just let you go. Okay, the ride's starting. We're starting early. All right, thank you. All right. This ride had two routes. The short one went to Stafford and then back to Hudson. The long one went to Stafford, then to St. John, north on the Eden Valley Road to K-19, east to just north of Hudson, and then finally back south to Hudson. Along the way, there were sag stops for riders to rest and refresh themselves. For those of us non-bikers, S-A-G stands for support and gear. The prize at the end of the ride was a chicken dinner catered by Wheatland Cafe and, of course, pictures with the chicken. <coughs> if you have items that need to be announced <coughs> on TV3 or placed on the computerized bulletin board, Send them to ssctv3 at gmail.com. Join us again on Cable Channel 3 next Friday at 11. If you cannot watch us then, you can watch us at your convenience on the Internet at ssctv3.org. As you keep us informed, we will keep you informed, and thanks for watching.